Hi. As we know, the IP network is limited to 100 meter, which means we only can use 100 meter Ethernet cable to connect router to our edge IP device. So if the distance is beyond 100 meter, we're still using the cable such like the 200 meter Ethernet cable, it's not going to work. So we need some kind of extender to repeat the network. In this video, we'll talk about why the PoE network, PoE extender is, is valid, even we are not working with PoE. This is the PoE extender. You can see there's one input and one output. The input is supposed to connect the cable coming from the router, and the output is li linked to the another cable, which we are going to attach to the edge IP network. There's no external power source required. That's the value for PoE standard. Why we use the PoE, when we use the PoE standard, that means we don't need the power source next to the PoE standard. That's cool, right? The power is being sent from the edge. All right, let's just make a quick demonstration. Do you think it will work if we just change this PoE standard, like the input, And the output, also the other end of the cable to the router, the second, the second one, and here to the main router. I guess you know the answer. It's not working. The reason is this PoE standard cannot get the power. It's also the active device. It needs a power source from the edge. But this is the just simple router. It's not a PoE device like the PoE injector or PoE switch. So here I'm going to add the PoE injector. And now I connect the port to the PoE port. Also, the punch code to link the PoE injector. Let's see if there's any luck. All right, it's still not working. Even we adding the PoE injector to the system, it's still not working. The reason is because in the standard PoE system, the PoE injector will detect edge device. If your edge device is not the PoE compatible product, it's not going to send the power. So even you have added, uh, we have added PoE injector in the system, there's still no power. We don't need the power, but there's still no power for this one, so the whole link is not working. The last thing we need is the PoE speaker. I'm going to add the PoE speaker. Let's just plug in. Once we plug in, we can see the indicator has been turned on, which means the whole system is working. We can use the network port. We also can use the power. This is the DC telt voltage speaker coming from, coming from the speaker. So we can power up the router. If we don't need the power, we can just use the data. That would be cool. So in the standard PoE extension, it's important to know you not only need the power, the PoE standard, you also need the PoE injector and speaker. If you already have the PoE switch, you can remove this one and just connect the cable to a PoE switch. And if your edge device support PoE, you also don't need the PoE speaker. But if you just try to repeat the regular network, you need both to make sure this is the complete PoE system. Even you don't need the power for edge device. Because only you have PoE injector, speaker, or similar product, then the PoE standard will work. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, you can post it in the comment section below. See you next time.